Hello, welcome to another video on speculating. Uh, this is going to be a fun topic, I think. It's about first appearances. Um, as long as I have been a collector of 30 plus years, you know, for the longest time, it was pretty simple for me to understand the concept of first appearances. To me, that is just the first time the character, whether it's a villain or the superhero, appear in a storyline in the comic books. Whether it's one panel, two panels, or the, the entire book is about that character. So that was how I operate as far as understanding what is considered first appearances and um, you know for years that was pretty much the norm but one book you know there could have been more but the only one for 30 years that I can think of that kind of stray away from that formula is of course the, the infamous Hulk 180 and 181, right? These two books, 180 and 181. And over the years, this discrepancy has always fascinated me. So I read up on many different reasons uh, for many people on why. Uh, 181 is worth more than 180. Uh, ultimately, the market decide what something is worth. So, regardless of what my opinion is, uh, I might disagree with uh, the idea that 181 should worth more than 180. It's not much uh, that I can change because the market has spoken, but. There's, there was one very interesting theory that was put forth in a blog that was written online. I read it a while ago on the internet and I tried to find it before I make this video to put the link below but I could not. So I was kind of bummed out. Um, but there was an interesting article uh, that put forth a theory why 181 was uh, is more valuable than 180 and that was because of the mistake by uh, the guy overstreet guy um, and since I couldn't find an article I'm trying to paraphrase what I remember reading um, but basically what the article said was, you know, because a, a lot of people uh, back in the late 70s mistaken that Hulk 181 was a first ever appearance of Wolverine, that they start to bid up that book and the snowball effect took place where uh, more and more people chase after that book and make it worth so much more than 180 that by the time that the mistake was uh, discovered it was too late to change the market because a lot of people a lot of speculators investors flippers <laughs> have put so much money into 181 that somehow losing the value of that book is just not something that will happen and the, mom the momentum keep going now what, are, um, what am I talking about as far as a mistake so after I read that article a while ago um, I did some research unfortunately I don't have you know all the price guide of the late 70s but I do have 1978 Okay, and sure enough, uh, 
I'm sure the, the, the author of that uh, article uh, have information like this. So here you have 1978 price guide. Okay, I don't. I wish I had 1979, 1980. Okay, because I think that is where I really like to see um, what happened. But let me show you. Hopefully, it will be clear. Okay. As you can see, what I tried to show you there is in the Overstreet Guide in 1978, there is no special notes in Hawk 180. But on Hawk 181, that's where I say first appearance of Wolverine. So you gotta go back in the old days, okay, where you know informations are not free flowing like we have today with the internet. You know, most people, most speculators rely on something like this. And so if um, you know the misinformation in here could cause the value of 181 to be significantly higher than 180 and the reason why I wish I have the price guide of 79 and 80 is you know I like to see how much the jump of Hawk 181 was because of the popularity of the X-Men so I think that I think there is some truth to that article um, you know but for years that those two books, Wolverine, first appearance was the only one that I can think of. If anybody else can think of another first appearance that has that kind of uh, discrepancy as far as the, the, the true first appearance, whether it's one panel or not, is worth significantly less than the, 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 the next appearances, let me know. But that being said, the speculating craze that we see in the past two years have introduced a slew of clone problems. And I find that to be, I'm trying to find the right word for it. I would say it's, I find it to be very odd because, you know, ultimately the market decide what something is worth and the market is dependent on the buyer and the seller okay so the buyer can say whatever they want okay the buyer oh no the seller can say whatever they want okay the, the seller can hype the book can spin whatever they want to spin and it's up to the buyer to make the decision right and for the longest time with the 180 181 you hear all kind of um, spins uh, you know sure is 181 a better cover than 180 absolutely it's a much cooler better drawing better color you name it it's a better uh, some people would spin that you know the reason why 181 was more because you know Wolverine is on the cover also okay and uh, There are various reasons why 181 should worth more. Uh, you know, I, I let I let the buyer decide. For now, uh, you know, it is what it is, and I don't think that will change in the near future. I can't imagine the day where uh, Hulk 180 is worth more than Hulk 181. Is that blog mentioned? It the the snowball effect took place, and the momentum keep going and keep going, and people for the past uh, twenty plus years keep bidding up Hulk one eighty one, regardless, you know, if they uh, fix the over street price guy. Because what I have is by nineteen eighty two, 
by 1982. The price guide does mention that 180 is the first cameo of Wolverine and 181 is the first full appearance of Wolverine. So uh, for those that have the price guide of 1979, 1980, and 1981, let me know when the change took place as far as fixing the notes on Hulk 180, okay? I'd love to see it because I just thought that theory that was put forth was quite interesting. Um, as far as the current market, as I alluded to earlier, that you know, there's, there's a trend that's developing that is quite odd in my opinion because I think more and more discrepancies of first appearances are starting to uh, crop up, uh, creep up, crap up, crap up. Um, you know, forget about, you know, the first ads and all that stuff, you know. It's neat to see the first ad of something, but I'm not gonna even gonna go there to say that uh, the first ad of a character should be worth more than the first appearance in a, in a storyline because, um, you know, to me it's it's neat, but it's also uh, a silly to pay up for the first ad. But that being said, for the past two years, now instead of having just Hulk 180 and 181, we have a slew, a slew of books that have a copycat clone situation. And let me bring out a couple. First up is Ultron. As I mentioned before, Ultron, even as late as 2008, okay, 2008, was not even mentioned, was not even mentioned in the guide. Nobody cares about Avenger 55. So, all of a sudden, in the past year, with the mention of Ultron in the next Avenger movie, the first appearance of Ultron exploded. But guess what? It's not this book. Ultron, the face of Ultron, appear in one panel, in this, okay? One panel. But, as we all know, it's this book. Okay, everybody go crazy for this book and not this book. Okay, this book is worth substantially more than this book. And uh, sure, you know, the name Ultron was not mentioned in that one panel uh, here. But, like I said, they show his face. Uh, so that's one example of uh, a very similar situation. And guess what? Ultron is in neither of the covers of these two books. So, whatever um, reason people want to apply the same logic with Hulk 181 doesn't apply here. Okay, the next one. Like I said, there's a lot. I, I'm just going to bring out a couple to show you the example that many things start to show the same kind of discrepancies. With the success of the X-Men movie and the discussion of Apocalypse in the next movie, for sure, this past year has been the, the hot books of the this book and once again guess what this book is a lot less compared to this book even though apocalypse appear in one panel last panel in this book and then on the cover of this book okay so this this one is similar to the Hulk 180 181 situation but once again you know, the market is bidding up this book 
and I'm not sure, uh, you know, personally I'm not out there buying these books, so uh, I can't understand the mindset of the buyers as far as, you know, willing to bid up and chase up books, uh, even when they know, you know, I, I can, I can, you know, I'm sure uh, all the people that are willing to pay a lot of money for this book are aware that he appeared on the last page on this book, but perhaps they are using the same logic as Hulk 180 and 181 and say, well, since it's only one panel here, you know, this should worth more. Should worth more. I'm not sure about that kind of logic. Like I said, I don't understand it. I find it odd, but that's what is going on with the speculating market when it comes down to hot books in the past year or two years. Like I said, it's, it's a trend that uh, it's quite odd as far as, as far as I'm concerned. Anyhow, uh, thanks for watching. Until next time.